I was 27 at that time and I decided to learn French. So I did something called a homestay program. A homestay program is a program where you live with a family to learn a language. They put me with a Jewish family. <laughs> and the moment I realized that they were Jews when I went to their house, I saw a big star of David, Hamagen David, in their house and I was about to scream. I emailed the school and I asked for a transfer because I don't feel comfortable being with a Jewish family. Now the good thing is that Rachel or Rachel, the mother, did not take it personal. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But uh, the school told me, okay, so you'll spend a couple of uh, days with the family until we find you a transfer. I believe they were shocked with this kind of response, but I didn't feel comfortable because the media and everything tells you that Jews are bad, Jews are evil, Jews have fangs, Jews would, uh, would, uh, conspi are conspiring against Muslims. One of the books that really affected my childhood was called The Protocols of the Elders of Zion. I got, it in, I got it from Egypt and in the first page of the book it says, this is the book that the Jews don't want you to read. Can you imagine that? Oh, the protocol number one, Jews will take control of the world by the money. Rule number two, or uh, protocol number two, Jews will take over the media. So, so I was very influenced, I cannot deny that. So the family, uh, the mother then, she said, okay, we'll keep, take a couple of days before we move to another family. And in this period, for the two weeks, uh, uh, the mother used to take me with her shopping and I did two Shabbats and uh, I tasted Jewish food. And I, I had this inner battle, I would say, the inner battle between the religious texts that you have that say, for example, never take Jews and Christians as friends. The fierce enemies of the believers are the Jews. Never greet Jews and Christians. I'm being very honest and blunt in what I say because not so many people are willing to say that we have this kind of problem, but we do. I called the school and I said, let me just put the transfer on hold. It was a traditional French family. They are originally Yemeni. In this period in France, uh, the mother was very educated. She, uh, I, I went to study French. I ended up learning Judaism and Hebrew. So I just wanted you wow. to know. I fell in love with the, with the Bible, with the Tanakh, I would say. My mom, I love her so much. She said, Lui Habibi, I will give you two months and then you will go back to the Salafi Lu'ai that we all know. It's been now 14 years. 